the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. Does having doubts about the existence of God, heaven, hell, after life, prophets, uh, make me a bad person or take me out of the fold of Islam? Having doubts, as I think all of you know, my dear brothers and sisters, but this is a humble question, you all know that knowledge begins by doubt. Certitude begins by doubt on average. The greatest companions of the greatest of the greatest of all prophets وسلم, had doubts. They were even non-believers. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala led them to certainty after that. As long as one alhamdulillah strives to sincerely know and to sincerely transform and follow what one knows to be the truth. Second, even when we believe, it does not have that sometimes many people on average that we do not have some form of doubt in some specifics of our faith. That's also part of the course of growth and of the tazkiyah and of the polishing of ourselves that we develop and we develop and we become better and better. And even in the time of Rasulullah وسلم, some of the Sahaba in clear texts expressed something of this nature of doubt. And Rasulullah did not treat that in ways you should not have that. But he said, did that happen? And he even gave the answer to indicate that that's the path to certitude. And I don't want to say what that question exactly was for the sake of brevity, but yes, that happens. And the fact that that happens sometimes is not, alhamdulillah, uh, necessarily uh, an indication of disbelief, billah. but one pursues knowledge, reads the Quran, finds the healing and the answers, alhamdulillah, in the Quran and in the words of Rasulullah, and you turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in prayerfulness, in dua, and alone at night when nobody hears, nobody sees, you turn to him subhanahu wa ta'ala in prayer and you invoke him subhanahu wa ta'ala to instill that light inside of your qalb with which to remove any doubt. Oh Allah al-Azim, if we do that, even if we don't know, sometimes, I underline, even if we do not have access to scholarly answers, Wallahi al-Azim, Allah gives you a nur in your heart by which the answer is given to you and you attain certitude and maybe 10 years later you'll find out that the answer that Allah gave you in your heart was a recorded answer in our Islamic tradition. Wallahu ta'ala ala.